don't do it. No, don't do it. Uh, swing on that nigga right now. Say I won't. Don't, don't. don't. Ten, bring him in the door like a whip man. That boy Murray. Y'all better stop. It look like he ready to do some other shit. We saw on grocery shop at uh, Family Dollar though. That's how I knew that shit was real. Y'all used to grocery. Look at that nigga say, like, damn. Fuck nigga, y'all. Yeah, we had Family Dollar with it. And they ain't got number two aisles of food. Yeah. I swear, we used to Family Dollar like, got them paper towels that say paper towel on the motherfucker. That's it. They got them pecan swirls. What? Them cinnamon pecan swirls? What? 16 in a box, boy. Get two of them boxes, boy. But well, we got food for days, boy. Nigga, <laughs> raised off pecan swirl. <laughs> a loose one at that. Floor was on cocaine. That's the cocaine section right there. Now, that Heron. Oh, nah, Heron don't make it move quick. That's ecstasy. I don't trust them ladies over there. I feel like they'll give you some pussy, but they won't get all the way naked. Body rockin', knockin' the boots. Nigga don't have no paper towels, no nothing. <laughs> no pillowcases, none of that they shit. They got one wash rag, one towel. One wash rag, one towel. Wash <laughs> rag in the bathroom, hard than a motherfucker. <laughs> Especially if a nigga live by himself. That nigga might get out the shower, butt naked, wipe his dick off on the curtains in the living room. <laughs> That's how you know a bitch crazy. She still leave voicemail. <laughs> that that trying to keep cool off. <laughs> Look at she rubbing her eyes too. That shit must have hit hard. God damn. That bitch on it bad. She must have had some of that good batch. Leave that white lady alone. That shit gonna fuck around and be in the newspaper. Hell nah, cause they won't leave us alone. Fuck. Did I say something wrong? Yeah, what the talk fuck that is shit. Talking about pass the blunt. You just want me for my weed. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, man, that sir. Muffin, that muffin sold two million right there, man. We was in LA, man. We was uh, we was standing at the Beverly Hills Hotel. That was, that was a big ass studio, man. That shit was amazing. You know, man, I miss my nigga Pimp, man. That nigga was, man. That was, man, that was my nigga, man. Damn, Pimp City. Man, we, we, we spent so much money on Jive. We was getting, we was staying in hotels. It cost 600 a night. Pimp was, he was fucking that budget up. It was a $2 million budget. We was eating the shit out that motherfucker. <laughs> Kicking it. What that was like, like, what was, like, what's something that people might not know about Pimp? Like, well, man, Pimp was a comedian, you know what I'm saying? He was a funny dude, man. You know, he'd go off on, you know, like, he, he'd be sitting there, you know what I'm saying? He'd be doing his thing, and he'd just go off, man. He'd call the radio station, just get to tripping, man. I'd be like, man, you can't be doing that, Pimp, because I'm with you, right? You know what I'm saying? They're going to think I'm with the shit, right? I said, I ain't with none of that shit. But, you know, I man, we was riding, like, I, I tell this stuff, we was riding down, uh, 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 I think we was going to uh, Port Arthur, coming from uh, Houston, Texas. And Pimp was on the phone, he was talking to Jay Prince. I said, hey man, listen, man, I got nothing to do with that, man. You know, because so Pimp was talking about the album. He said, yeah, man, me and King ain't gonna be on the album, man. It's gonna be called this. I guess Jay Prince wanted to call it, it was Pimpolation. The first, remember the first Pimpolation? Yeah. It's gonna be Pimpolation, King. And I was like, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Because, you know, Jay Prince, he, he's, he's a brother. I respect him, man, you know, and I don't want nobody to ever think that I'm, you know, being disrespectful. So. You know what I'm saying? That was that was the funny thing about him. You know what I mean? He he would go off on everybody. You know he had no respect to persons, man. He just he just I was, <laughs> just snap. You know what I'm right. saying? And I'm and I'm always with him, right? You know right. we was together. You know he he seen the best of both worlds. You know he he said give me his uh his uh, Bentley. I give him my uh, compressor. You know we talked yeah, about the compressor. Had the yeah. SL55, the two hundred thousand dollar car. I give him my compressor. We switch Bentleys. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, yeah. Come to my house, you know, he played with my children. You know, I, I go to his house, you know, I, I know his kids, you know, I know a little pimp and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, we had a, a beautiful relationship, but that's some of the things that I remember is like, it's just him going out, man. And I remember one time uh, uh, I was talking to Slick Pil Pillar, right? Slick Puller, right? You know, Jeezy yeah. yeah. And I was trying to squash the beef, right? You know, like, hey, man, you know, pimp ain't on no shit like that, man. Woo -the -woo -the -woo. And Pimp was, he was high behind the door, right? <laughs> and so uh, my guy, my guy, uh, D. Shea Jones from Nashville, he had bought, he had bought his story. So he, D. Shea on the other side of the door. So he, Pimp just tried to hear what, what, what I was saying, right? And then uh, I said, uh, yeah, Pimp, I talked to him. He said, yeah, man, tell me with all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we with that piece, man. 
and then he'd go right off and then he'd snap it on somebody else. So it was like, you know, that, that was our world. But, you know, other than that, you know, just on some cool shit, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, him and my children was cool, you know, Supreme and little Kenny played with them. You know, he'd come to my house, you know, eat, you know, eat, eat at my house and shit, you know, we'd have like, because I stayed in Milwaukee, right? Yeah. But it was a suburb called Menominee Falls. So, you know, all the celebrities would come to my house when they came to Milwaukee, right? You know what I'm saying? And it'd be me, Pimp, and Breed, and man, just so many people, you know. Uh, I remember Yuck Moth, all of them was there one time, you know, just smoking weed and drinking and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me and Pimp, you know, we, that's the type of shit we used to do, man. We, uh, we'd go to Mississippi, you know, you know, Mississippi, and we just kick it with all my kin folks, the Goon Squad, Gino down there in, uh, in uh, Vicksburg, all them niggas, man, you know, Mississippi niggas, you know, I'm, 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 I'm Mississippi bred, my father, you know, he's from Oxford, okay. Mississippi, so. Same place where uh, Lo Lowe's from, man. So, you know, what? We, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, you know, know all of my family. family. That's crazy. You know, from all all of my friends' crazy, cousins, man. they grew up together, man. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> Man, it's, it's, it's about that time for me to tell him to welcome back to the Hit Us Last Show. You know what I'm saying? We just got to let it play in a little bit. That's what we call a soft intro, you feel me? There you go. Look, we got a living legend with us again today, oh, you on. feel me? Come like, on. again, like, come on. I don't know back what we did or how we put this together, but he done blessed us again, you feel me? Repeatedly. Man, we got something so official in here today, man. We got? I'm talking about shit. Uh, if you even... Consider yourself a real nigga, man. You'd at least heard the voice before. Oh, man. I'm talking about the motherfucker who gave us the instructions so it wouldn't be no destruction. Come on, man. I'm talking about one of the coldest niggas that done did it everywhere and ain't nowhere he ain't did it at. Come on, man. I'm talking about one of the realest niggas that I ever <laughs> had the pleasure of having a conversation with. Oh, man, on, he done man. took that shit from pimping to Politicking to on, man, the nigga say he about to buy a big ass building downtown, but he ain't want me to tell y'all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, none other than the legendary yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Pippin King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Man, it's, shit, there's so many things that you could say, but if we say them all, we'll be here all motherfucking man, day. Come man. on, man. Well, man, hey. one thing for sure, I got diarrhea in the mouth. I talk a whole bunch of pimp shit, man. Hey, man, I ain't even got no whole bunch of talking to do today. I'm listening, man. Yeah. I, I didn't see you yeah, really out there. I think that you know you 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 got a lot of information. Good little foundation for yeah, yeah, man. what that game is. Well, you know the game, man. You know this shit got to be in you, not on you, right? You Come know on. what I'm saying? I mean, you know, a lot of niggas say, man. You know, Ken, man. You know what is pimping? You know, pimping is ing. Ing mean I'm not going send the bitch, right? If the police put me <laughs> over, you know what they gonna get me for? Right. Can't conceal money and can't conceal whole money and reckless use of a bitch. You know what I mean? Cause I don't, you know, I don't, no fingerprints, no evidence, man. You know right. what I'm talking about? I don't commit no crimes. You dig know what I'm right. saying? You know, it's all on the bitch. You know, that's how we live. You know what I'm saying? You get in my bins or my Rolls Royce, you know what I mean? You're going to need some Mr. Gale dust because it smells so much like pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you like to wash the pussy up off the car. You dig know what I'm saying? Come you on, man. man. I mean, what is the best product for getting the pussy smell out? <laughs> huh? Hey, man. Mr. Gale dust, man. Hey, you got you to dish the pussy up off you the car. You know what I mean? Hey, if you go to the car, right? They don't wash it with water. They wash it with Mr. Gale dish, <laughs> man. Dish that pussy up off. Everything I got smells like pussy, man. You know what I mean? Now, straight out. The cock, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's over the syrup. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Just like you said, you got to sip it, man. Sip it on some pimping, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Clay? Yeah, so, so, you know, that's that's one of the things, you know, but, you know, in all due respect, man, you know, I, you know, I never wanted to be a pimp. I wanted to be a hustler. He know my daddy now, you know what I'm saying? My uncles now, they was hustlers and shit, you know, out of Mississippi, some country boys, right? They came up to Chicago, fucked the game up, you know, shooting them bad craps and breaking niggas and shit. So I wanted to be like my pops now. But my partner, JD, Father Divine, you know what I'm saying, me made, you know, uh, you know, I give him his props while he living. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he 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 uh he had we used to rob banks and uh, you know, snatch jury and shit. So he ended up getting three bitches, right? So when he when I seen him with the three bitches, I come in the house, I said, God damn, man, let me get one of them bitches. He said, which one you want? I said, I want the one that's light bright with the pussy candy stripe, right? That yellow bitch, that almighty whitey, you know what I'm talking about? So he, he you know, he, he ran me a bitch, you know, he gave me a bitch, you know, and, and I broke on the bitch, you know what I'm saying? Then the bitch, you know, she ended up uh, basically, you know, teaching me the game and shit, you know, because I didn't really know it then. I, when I first got my, my whole money, I said, God damn, this bitch like a quarterback. She passed the purse to the receiver, the pimp, right? So I'm receiving the whole trap and I'm getting money every day and I'm like, damn, this shit kinda cool. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't shake that gangster shit, you know what I mean? I'm from Milwaukee, so it's a gangster town. You know what I'm saying? Me, so you know, I'm like, man, let me go bust another move. So I end up back in jail again. You know what I'm saying? Then I met another pimp by the name of Pimp and Pope. You know what I'm saying? May he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? We were sellies, right? 
And, you know, so he told me, he said, man, you know, you ain't really pimping, man, to your, uh, you can, you know, you know, the bitch can leave from this in the court to this in the court with a tongue still licking your dick head. He said, you know, the bitch don't miss a drop, you know what I'm saying? And then he said, yeah, man, he said, you know, Ken, you know, da 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 And I'm saying, well, well you know, Pope, if all this shit true, why are you here with me? So he explained to me why he was in jail. It's a, a little young lady we grew up with named Juanita. She used to pay him, right? That was like his kind of bottom bitch, right? So she was, you know, she was checking her in, but the nigga uh, Sam, Pepe Sam, ended up knocking the nigga poke for the bitch, right? Now, yeah. we in jail, mind you, we in the cell, I'm hearing all this shit, right? Cause I wanna know why you in jail, nigga? Why you here with me if you a pimp? So, you yeah. know, he talking about this shit. Then he said, yeah, man, he said, so when the nigga got the bitch, you know what I'm saying, he fell in love. So the man started acting irate, Ken, so he jumped on my car and I shot him off the car. So he shot Sam and Sam paralyzed, right? And he said, see, Ken, what it was is like, he said, when you get a bitch, this is what he told me. This would really help me, this would make me get out and go pimping again. So, you know, he said, Ken, he said, when you get a bitch, he said, man, he said, man, if, if he said, if you take a shit, the bitch should be there with the toilet paper to wipe your ass before you get through with the shit. You know, he said, if you get, like I said, he said, the, ball, the bitch should be fumbling three times to light your cigarette. You know what I mean? He said, you know, he said, if you, uh, if your stomach starts going, he said, the bitch should be cooking your food already, right? So I'm like, damn. So what he was telling me is that the nigga Sam mistake pimping for love. He said, you know, pimping is instructions. You know what I'm right. saying? I mean, so when you really pimping, you just giving the bitch instructions. Hey, bitch, go through this. Hey, bitch, do that. Hey, bitch, hey, bitch, hey, bitch, hey, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he taught me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he said, ain't no difference between the in-pocket bitch and the out-of-pocket bitch. He said, all these bitches the same, man. He said, you got the pimp on them, King. He said, don't fall in love. He said, Sam fell in love. And, you know, he started disrespecting my pimp. He said, you know, I got the people and the nigga violated my P. I got to drop the P and pick up the G. You know what I'm saying? He said, that's why I'm in here. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to get gangsta on this nigga, right? So I, 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 that locked in my head, and that made me the international pimp of the year. You know what I mean? I just had some of the baddest hoes in the world, but I never fell in love with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause love is like a full letter word, like fucking shit. So fuck that shit. You know what I mean? When you're pimping, <laughs> right? So I went to the doctor, right? And I went and had a triple bypass. I said, man, move all the sympathy out of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to fall in love with a bitch, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was so successful. But it's like, being, it's like being a fireman. When you go, you know, you know what I'm saying, Los, if you're a fireman, you go out there, you got to bring your fireman equipment. You're going to see people get burned. You're going to see people, people, people die and all kind of shit. Yeah. So in that game, I seen all kind of trauma and all kind of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Clay, Los, so I'm like, okay, is this what I really want to do? So I made a bow. I said, I'm going to do this shit, man. And, you know, I just blew up and I just, I, you know, I, I treat the same way a motherfucker, you know, like a motherfucking police, if he shoots you, you know what I'm saying? He said, that's his job. You know what I'm saying? That's what the police do. He kill motherfuckers, you know, and get away with it, you know what I mean? And he go back to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, with the pimping, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you mashing and crashing and taxing, study asking, you know what I'm saying? You tell him to sock into your pocket like a rock, jump out the cock and put a pimp sock. That's all you can see is first, first, ass, last. If you think I'm handsome, pay my motherfucking ransom. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't give me no assistance to keep your distance. That's how you be. You be like straight hardcore with it, right? That's how I was, and that made me the pimp of the year. Then I started having money. I started buying, you know, thirty-five thousand dollar mink coats, hundred thousand dollar, you know, uh, the niggas talk about the nigga, uh, the nigga. What's the nigga from uh, New York? The nigga that make the watches. Jacob the Jeweler. Yeah. I'm the first nigga to spend 100 bands with this nigga. I bought, when, the, when they had the presidential bust down, yeah. I bought that shit from that nigga way before Biggie, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? All this shit was from pimping. You know, I'm the first nigga, no, I ain't the first nigga. I'm a nigga, we don't go platinum off the album, we go platinum off the pussy, you know what I mean? So you sell a million dollar pussy, you gonna live like a rapper, you gonna live happy ever after, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hey, man. Wait hold a minute. Hold on, man. man. You know, just gonna speed through. Sold a million dollars worth of pussy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did Let you breathe? Did Let you breathe? A million dollars. Did you? Over a million. Did you know it was million dollar pussy when you, when you, did you well, see well, the potential well, you know, or did you? Well, you know, the, uh, Clay, the, the mistake a lot of these niggas make, right? When they get a bitch, they don't know how to raise a bitch intelligence. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, they trying to raise a bitch skirts to raise a bitch intelligence. See, mm -hmm. when a bitch get with me, you know what I'm saying? She gonna get layers of game. You know what I'm saying? If the bitch a real bitch, like, when my hoes was in the strip club, they didn't dance. My bitch would pay the DJ, you understand me, $50 to send the next bitch out there to dance while my bitch pulling the trick and taking them into the VIP room, getting a bunch of drinks and, uh, you know, get the trick drunk. And then, you know, on the uh, on every on every receipt, it's a thing called gratuity. Y'all seen that yeah. before? But yeah. my bitch is writing $1,000 gratuities on these motherfucking receipts, you know what I'm saying? Me? And, you know what I'm saying, $800. I'm, I'm breaking motherfuckers. This is like way back, and I'm breaking motherfuckers five, six thousand. I broke the record in one club in ecstasy. All of niggas know, I mean, I said, I didn't mean to say name club, but I broke the record 30,000, 30,000, 30,000 out of one trick. 
So niggas ain't got that game. So that's how you get to the million. Three thousand dollars a day is a million dollars a year, right? I, I'm getting. I'm, I, I had one time I had sixteen bitch. I'm getting sixteen thousand dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Me. So you know what I mean. And then sometimes you know if, you, if the bitch really live, you know she really take the game like a fish take the water. The bitch gonna get some thousand. So every bitch that left me, man, they end up with some, a whole bunch of heap of game. You know what I mean? Right. So that was back then. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was raising my bitches. Nowadays these niggas, you know, they ain't really got the game, man. You know they just you know misguided on the side. You know what I'm saying? Me miss pimping. You know because miss pimping ain't no pimping at all. Ain't no pivot right. at all. You know what I'm saying? Then right. a lot of them come to me, you know, they want me to give them the game. Los, I be like, man, you know, hey, man, you Shit. know what I'm saying? Man, you got to get like Mike Tyson got his. You got to fight for it, man. Man, you better get, <laughs> hey, take a look. It's in a book. Yeah, now, man. Now, you one of the, Yo, co- the book. Yeah, speaking of the book. your book, like one of the coldest stories yeah. that I think is how you put the players ball together in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, how yeah, yeah. How you just went from coast to coast just talking this shit up and not even having it lay it all the way out, man. Yeah, yeah, man. One of the things that I did, man, was, you know, I, I, I uh, basically, you know, with all the little D-boys in the town, you know what I'm saying, they was having a whole bunch of money. So, you know, these dudes have a lot more money than me, you know what I'm saying? So what I did was I, uh, I, I just started, you know, talking about the players' ball. I started promoting and and I started getting everybody to come in from all over the world. And then when they came in, you know, I'm selling niggas uh, tables for $2,500. I'm selling niggas, you know, $200 getting the ball. Before you know it, you know what I'm saying? I made half a million dollars. So, you know, I got a big bank now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These niggas, you know what I'm saying? They thought they, 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 thought they had a capital P. You know what I'm saying? They had the itty-bitty P. You know, in, in school, you got the little bitty P. I, well, I was a capital P, you know what I mean? And I ended up, you know, surpassing everybody, you know what I'm saying? And that was just one of the things that we did. And then, you know, with HBO, when HBO came to town, they were trying to give a nigga a thousand dollars. I told him, I said, what I'm going to do with that? I said, I won't pay for the motherfucking bub in my bins, you know what I'm saying? I said, that shit ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I brought him to Milwaukee, got him to the mill, and once they got to the mill, you know what I mean? I flipped him like IHOP, you know, like pancakes. Woo! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the motherfucker next day, you know, they, sit, they give me a six figure check. And if you look at the movie, you look at the credits, it said, Consult Ken Ivy, which is my real right, name. It right, says, you know. Right, right. Hey, 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 Lo. But P. Gang, if you notice the movie ended with me too, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I watch so many movies. I see the movie always end with the star. So I end with the movie, man. Them niggas was mad as motherfucking fish grease at me, man. They was like, God damn. How did Ken end up being the end of the movie? But that was in my negotiation. That was in the contract. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't know nothing about credits and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got to talk credit. I said, yeah, well, put me in that shit too. Whatever that means. I'm thinking credit. I might be able to get some discount and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers said credit. So I'm, I'm credit. Yeah, yeah, credit me in that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I did, so that, that led me to my next movie, Pimpology. I know you've seen that, Lowe. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? So Pimpology was a movie I did, and I was shooting at the same time that HBO was shooting. Imagine that, man. No having no game about the film industry, but we were shooting, you know what I'm saying, me with top flight cameras, following everything they were shooting. Then the, the sequel to Pimp Something Holds Down was my movie, Pimpology. So when you see Arcanelli and me on that, uh, on, uh, on late night, on yeah. BET all that time back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Well, Strip Masters, they gave me the uh, distribution deal because I had the sequel to Pimps Up, Holes Down. And, and, and that's why HBO mad at me because I, they, but you know, I, I just instinctively just had enough game to know that these motherfuckers trying to pimp. They ain't for to pimp me because like in my book, you know, I talk about every situation of pimping a hoe. In that situation, I wasn't a hoe. Let me ask you this. Did you hesitate at all to put your life on on film like that? To, you know, you could have easily made yourself well, a target for a whole lot well, of shit. Well, Los, you know my daddy. You know my daddy. You, you know my kin folks. So you know they country motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So my first day, my daddy said, boy, you, you, you in trouble. You know what I mean? You did some <laughs> stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I just stopped pimping, man. You know what I'm saying? I stopped pimping, man. I just started doing corporate shit, you know what I mean? Because my father said, man, this ain't a good look. And like Los was saying, man, I'm looking at it, right? And my father sitting there with me. I'm thinking he's going to be happy because I'm on there, you know, I'm popping in this shit. And he just said, it ain't a good look. May rest in peace. So when Pops did... Yeah, yeah. I tell you, when Pops did that, uh, basically what I did, uh, when, Pop, when Pops did that, I just basically, you know what I'm saying, I started, you know, doing movies and I started doing books and shit, you know what I mean? And I just started attacking the corporate America. So I went from the ghetto street to the executive seats, from the ghetto blocks to the Wall Street, started from the sewer to the entrepreneur. Come on. Ooh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
like, this is too much game for these people, man. More game than Van Cannon got poker beans and more flavor than now. Like, ain't that right? <laughs> Come on, man. Now, if you can help him, you really on the side. I saw him. I saw Jack looking at you when you said you had a bitch hit a trick for 30000 His eyes started twitching a little bit. <laughs> hey, like, I, I, I wanted to be a pimp. Man, but I, I wanted to be a pimp, man, after uh, listening to 8-Ball and MJG pimps. Mm -hmm. and, but the problem was, I wasn't cut out for that shit because I was too friendly. Mm -hmm. Every time I tried to do some shit like that, you know, I ended up giving them hoes their money back and whatnot. I'm like, no, you earned this. You know, you was actually fucking for it. Right? I, I didn't know how to really just step in there and be aggressive with these motherfuckers. And then they tell me they don't want to go to work and shit. And I was cool with it and whatnot. And we're making no money. You know, so it's, 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 I'm... I'm, I'm I'm fascinated by somebody that can actually make that shit happen. Because that shit really got to be in you. Right. Hey, Jack, let me tell you something, man. You know, you know, you know, if, if, if you ever decide to get in the game, if you ever be successful, you got right now you got the ABCs. But if you get the P, you're gonna be the you have the XYZs. If you ever get the XYZs of the Pippin, right? You know what I'm saying? Just remember this. Put a meat on your Peter. The longer the bitch stay, the longer the bitch go out to pay. That's all I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's always get the money first. Get the money first, purse first and ass last. Mm. Anything after that, you might have a T on your forehead still a P. T stand for tricking. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. If you had a, but you, you, it's a T under that motherfucker. It's a T there. Capital T. Oh shit. Hey, the, the, um, it's a different type of woman that you know what I'm saying to actually allow you to be able to the, the pimp her. You know, and I just had to understand that it's not the same as, you know what I'm saying, a regular woman that you would court. And what, because it's, they, it's, it's a whole type of, it's a different animal, literally. Well, you know, preachers got nuns, right? Right. Doctors got nurses, right? Right. Pimps got hoes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, don't nobody like a pimp but a hoe, right? You know, and to us, it's a community, you know what I'm saying? We understand what's going on, but the public think this woman is being abused and somebody, you know, doing this and that and the other. But a woman that's in the game, she prefer me to call her a hoe or a bitch. And that's odd, right? Because most women, they'd be very offended by that, right? 100%. Well, well in the game, you know, it's like a pet name. We use that shit every day. Come here, bitch. I mean, a bitch, wash much clothes, bitch. You know what I mean? That's just the way we talk. You know what I'm saying? Me and she talked to her wife in law the same thing. Like, come on, bitch, let's go get some money. We hoes got to get daddy some money. You know what I mean? And people think that it's foreign, mm. but it's actually an underground community. It wasn't to pimps up hoes down, which I'll talk about that later, that, you know, we start hearing more about the game. Mm. But before that, when nobody really trying to hear that shit, man, you know, they was like, you know, woo, 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 you know, the motherfuckers, they, they outcast, you know what I'm saying? They the scums of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Me, this and that and the other, you know what I'm saying? Me, but, you know, as the game became more international and more no, worldwide known, you know what I'm saying, me, everybody starts screaming, I'm a pimp, you know, 50 Cent, P-I-M-P, you know, uh, 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 Nelly, Pimp Juice, you know, uh, uh, Ludacris, pimping all over the world, Snoop Dogg, a thousand pimp songs, mm -hmm. you know, so it became a, 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 a sense of endearment, but a lot of people don't know the word pimping, Los, it wasn't, not always, you know, a bad thing. When the white folks called it pimping, back way in the early 1800s, it was, it was called like gentleman, debonair. You know that, didn't you? Shit. It didn't become a negative right. term until around the early uh, 70s when you had the exploitation films like yeah. the Mac and Superfly. Ah, yeah. Then that's when it became negative. He's a negative. goddamn pimp! Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Niggas yeah, done was, fucked it up. Let me ask you this, yeah. Pimpin' King. Is it possible to have too many hoes? Well, you know, one hoe is too close to no hoe and the broke hoe is a no-no. You know what I mean? I, hey man, I'm like I'm like the uh, Statue of Liberty. Give me all your uh, rejected. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, they all accept it. You know what I mean? I mean I mean I got up to 16 bitches, Carlos. And uh, man, you know I'm gonna tell you something, man. Imagine trying to have a conversation with your wife or your girlfriend. That's one lady, right? Right. Imagine 16 ladies. Man, that shit is play. That shit is Jack. That shit is that shit is tiresome. But you know, you become a master of the game. So what I do is I, I pit the hoes against each other. I make them watch, they tell me on, they tell on themselves, and you know, I'm, I said, bitch, you know, you the real one, bitch. I fuck, I really fuck with you, bitch. And they're like, no, nah, that bitch, I don't really fuck with that bitch. And then they get to tell themselves, then you got like a little kind of like in-house in, in management team where they doing the management for you. Right. They all trying to get to be number one. Right. But you know, in my world, it was never no bottom bitch. You know, I was the bottom and the top. You know what I'm saying? Me, I said, you two bitches on the side of me, y'all make a Ken sandwich. You understand right. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, y'all the meat, bitch, bitch, I'm the meat and y'all the bread. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's, the, what's the biggest uh, obstacle when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, uh, pimping it or like keeping them together when you vetting your 
Well, the, the, the biggest obstacle, man, is that you're still dealing with a woman, right? Yeah. You know, so every woman is trying to be the bottom bitch. Everybody want to be number one. You know, it's like the NBA, but it's the NPA, the National Pimp Association. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so they all competing to be number one. So, you know, you got a situation where, you know, you got to juggle six or seven bitches, eight, nine, ten bitches at all the time. And that could be tiresome because if a bitch don't get what she want within a month or two, you know what I'm saying, she might scatter, you know what I mean? But I give the bitch a Chinese name, one gone, mother head, you motherfucker, you bitch, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> bitch need me, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you look better leaving than you did coming, ho. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was just that type of nigga. I, like I said, dude took all the sympathy out of my heart. You know what I'm saying? In the penitentiary. So well, I really ain't had no sympathy for a gone. bitch, man. One I'm, gone. One gone. Chinese name, one gone. <laughs> hey, man, mother head, a motherfucker. I don't need that. I let the welfare feed it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoa, do man. you ever miss any of your hoes? Like, you do like. <laughs> no, bro. No. Come on, hold on now. Hold on. He might got something for this. Nah, it nah. might have been one special hoe. <laughs> Hey, 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 Jack, the question is, do the hoes miss me? <laughs> they miss my pimpin'. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I wasn't the receptive. They was receiving the pimpin'. They, did they miss this pimpin'? I guarantee all of them said, yeah, they did. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, you know, I mean, I mean, like. In so, did they try to come back then? I mean, but, I asked Jack, the question wrong. Jack, Jack, yeah, all them hoes come back. They all double back. But I'm just saying, you know, the thing that y'all got to understand, and I'm not preaching or teaching pimpin', because I'm long out the game, just for the record. I'm no longer in the game. But, you know, when you're dealing with hoes, man, you know what I'm saying? You're dealing with a, a different type of creature. The bitch left her mama so you know she's going to leave you. The bitch bleed five times a day, don't die. You cut me, I'm bleeding, I'm, I'm dead in five days. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So this is a special type of creature. This ain't just no regular motherfucker, man. This motherfucker deal with all men. Have you ever seen a bitch, you know, you see a bitch, you wave it down, she jump in the car with you, and you know, you take the bitch to a dark alley, and you, and you can fuck her for 30, 40, 50 dollars, you know? Chicks do that all day. Man, if a motherfucker walk up on me in the car, Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a look for a strap or act like I got one nigga. I'm not getting in the car with you, but right. this is the same chick that get in the car. Obviously, they have emotional problems, you know what I'm saying? They're going through some emotional distress, you know what I'm saying? They're not your average individual. You know, the average woman ain't gonna do that. And you know, a lot of these are, a lot of, a lot of these are abused women. You know what I'm saying? They are abused children in grown folks' bodies. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and what we do, what the pimps do, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we benefit from that because now they want to use the pimp, you know what I'm saying? I mean, as a means to do what they do. Because they're going to do it with or without the pimp. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a hoe going to be a hoe. Like Willie D said, let a hoe be a hoe. A hoe going to be a hoe regardless. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but most right. of them, you can best believe, you know, even in the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, how many of us didn't heard a, sh a gunshot in the last 24 hours? You know, probably all of us, you know, in the, in the, it's, it's post-traumatic stress disorder. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, your, your mama, your daddy fighting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you got a bunch of brothers and sisters. Y'all got roaches and rats everywhere. You, you're in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you, you, you're distressed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of these women, they be distressed. A lot of these guys, you know, they get in the pimp and be stressed. I guarantee you, if you take 100 women, at least 80 of them, that's hoes, been raped. They had some type of uh, molestation in their life or something that happened to them that was traumatized that makes them act the way they act. Now, you know, you got very professional women, you know, you got women that, you know, have regular jobs. They don't act nothing like hoes. They don't act nothing like hoes. You know what I'm saying? They probably grew up in a stable home. They probably had a mother and father in the house. You know what I'm saying? So that makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? They probably didn't grow up in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the ghetto within itself ain't nothing but a war zone. You know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine, man, where you go. A, a, a nigga come up to a bitch and say, hey, look here, mama, I'm going to show you a better way to buy the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you up out this red hole, and she's going she gonna to eat it up like Scooby Snacks. Come on, yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so she's going to get in the car with that dude, and anything is better than her seeing her father beat her mama. Anything is better than eating cereal with water. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, that shit, that's the, that's the trade off. So when she she get into a pimp, you know, now the pimp taking her, he showed her how to get thousands of dollars a day. Now she eating lobsters, she eating yeah. shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She eating at the best restaurants, getting the nails done, she getting the hair done. That's a great trade off, even though it's detrimental ultimately. You know what I mean? Because right. you still have to live with the fact that she didn't slept with over two, three hundred men. Right. You know what I mean? And you would never be able to say, Carlos is my knight in shining armor. You know, right. or Jack is my knight in shining armor. This is my this, 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 this is my Romeo. You ain't gonna he like shit like that. Yeah. I, I, like listen, it. I'm trying to get over that. I'm going to therapy for it right now. I'm back. I'm, 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 I'm wrapping my mind around <laughs> just regular, average working women right now. I, I don't want to live like that no more. I'm, I'm over here trying to break out but that phase. The hoes have my fun. You know that. I, they, they do. They Dude, do. But they transition now from the streets to the to the corporate. 
Boardroom. Well, 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 you know, like I said, it started with HBO, man. When they gave me that check, man, that big ass check, and you know, I, I be, you know, I, I was one of the creditors on the film. They just gave me a whole different perspective. Then uh, with me and Arcanelli, you know, Arcanelli, you know, me and Arcanelli, we got Tuesdays. Jack gonna be, he gonna be doing something too. We got Tuesdays every Tuesdays, you know, at uh, at, uh King of Diamonds, you know, that's okay. our night. That's Hip Hop Fraternity. That's my organization. We be there every Tuesday. Me and Jack about to leave there now. So Arcanelli, you know. That's being my man, you know, he hooked me up with uh, Script Masters, uh, 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 them people up there, you know, uh, your brother Gerard, and uh, I, 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 I gave him my DVD, or it was a VHS at the time. And, you know, man, I was making so much money, Carlos. It was like, you know, I couldn't believe it. I, I'm like, I'm selling DVDs like crack, you know what exactly. I'm saying? And, you know, got to remember, I'm coming off the back, so we making Straight millions hustle. of dollars. They write me checks and shit. And at that point, man, it was nothing in the streets that excited me, you know right. what I'm saying? And that's why I said my DVD is my hoe. I said, this bitch don't argue with me, she don't fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to worry about her choosing another pimp. I said, this is a dedicated, down, certified, qualified, off a of house of 197 hunchback bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she ain't gonna do it. nothing out of pocket. So, you know what I mean? I just started depending on that. And then, you know, next thing. Keeping you, it independent, too. Yeah, keeping it independent. Then, you know, all the celebrities start getting in my movies. They all want to, you know, be a part of my situation and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? That just kind of leaves me. And then next thing, I get a call from uh, Simon and Schuster, right? They offered me twenty-five thousand, Carlos. I told him, I said that that, that you know that I, once again, I'm only pay for the front end clip on my bins. Come on, man. you know that's my Come favorite on. saying. You know, what I mean that's the way I kept <laughs> it. So 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 they was like, yeah, you know, twenty-five thousand. So I, I shut that down. Then uh, you know, at this time, you know, I'm doing albums, you know, because the Pipology, if you know the Pipology, I'm gonna be the intro and outro man for all the rappers, all the work. So all the uh, uh, first rapper was Jermaine J.P. You know, which I got a plaque for that, you know, a couple plaques for that. And then, you know, Lil John, and then uh, 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 my man Mac 10, Too Short, uh, Pastor Troy, Pimp C, Bum B, uh, Ice T. Uh, man, there was so many albums. I've been all the people I was on the album, uh, Loom, uh, with yeah. Puffy, shout outs to Loom, and P. Diddy, I mean, uh, yeah, Puffy, they, uh, Bear Boy. All of them. Puffy, yeah. P. Diddy, P. Diddy. All so I got like about 30, 40 plaques, right? So all, yeah. you know, that's, that led me into another world. So now I'm getting publishers and shit. Now I'm understanding the music business. You understand what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah, so now, you know, Simon Schuster called me back and they give me, you know, a, a six figure deal for my first book. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm in that, in that circumference, I'm up here with these people, you know, that, that's really making the decisions, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going in Manhattan, I'm going to the CBS building, that's who owns Simon Schuster, you know, and these people are talking millions of dollars, and now I'm in, in proximity with the money, so my, another bell ring in my mind. I said, man, I gotta take it to another level. Now, I'm a literary agent for Simon Schuster. So I just signed Boosie, I signed Ice-T, I signed Corey Wise, so oh, I can sign man. people to book That's, that's yeah. crazy. That's I'm signing, I'm signing major artists to book deals. I'm on the Come phone. On, you know, I sent, I sent uh, my man, I sent D. Shea a letter over there, you know, to get, we try to get Bruno Mars, offer him three million, yeah. offer Travis Scott uh, people a million, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I got access to the bag. So any artists out there that want it, you know, that's really got their social media up, that's really doing it big, I can get them a bag, you know what I mean? And, and, and straight conversation, you ain't got to go and talk to some people over here, you know, and, and you know, Boosie will tell you I'm hood with it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna make sure that, you know, you get directly to the bag, you know Boosie what I mean? gotta do an audio book too, cause we gotta hear yeah, yeah. Boosie say his, I need to hear it in Boosie voice. Well, you know, well, well the book, book, Boosie book is called uh, uh, Across the Track, so uh, the book is done. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Boosie book is coming okay. through. That's my friend. He gotta read it. He gotta do it. He but, but, gonna hear but, it. But one thing I'm gonna tell Simon and Schuster, since, since I'm Boosie's agent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want the book, which I gotta come up with just a little bit more money. Come on, okay. They gotta give okay. us a little bit more money. Up so back check. to what Carlos was saying, that's why I, that's how I think on the business level, you know? And then I got, I'm into real estate, then I got the hip hop fraternity. It's the biggest, largest. Let, let me get you guys to walk in come here on, come and bring the jackets out. Yo. Show them. That's the hip hop fraternity. Yo, Put yo, your mask yo. on, bro. Put your mask on. Yeah. Yeah. This, this 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 is my organization. Y'all, I actually I'll be modeling, but let the people see what we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Now yeah. them jackets hard. Yeah. That's yeah. hip hop. Hip hop fraternity. You know, we got our own clothing line. We got hip hop fraternity radio. I got hip hop fraternity magazine. I got hip hop fraternity social media. We got our own social media. So back to what you said. You know, being an ex pimp. You know what I'm saying? I'm a pimp every situation. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we just sold thousands of them jackets. You know what I'm saying? On the website, they go for three hundred dollars. What's the website? What's the website? Drop the website. TheHipHopFraternity.com. 
TheHipHopFraternity.com. TheHipHopFraternity.com. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's HHF underscore magazine. HHF underscore magazine. Or you can follow me at Real. Pimp Ken underscore. So what we got right Hip Hop Fraternity got one of the um, hottest uh, uh, show, uh, showcase that. nights at a KOD every Tuesday night. What y'all doing over there? Okay. Oh, oh well, uh, showcase. Uh, Arcadelli okay. and, and I, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we do a, a, a showcase Hip Hop Fraternity where we, you know, I got a lot of artists. I got like 2,000 members. May, y'all clap for that. 2,000 members. <laughs> in one year, right, we got 2,000 members, so I got a lot of artists come through. So I, what I do, I love my artists. We got the HHF All-Stars, you know what I'm saying? That consists of J. Fifth, you know, Supreme, uh, Boogeyman, Dutch, you know, uh, H2O, uh, Lexi, and his uh, 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 Spook. Who else is Boogeyman? We got one more, right? Uh, H3 and uh, some two, two little, and uh, J.J. Holmes from, uh, from, from here. Who? J. Fifth, yeah. So that's my all star So really, I push them. Through, through those mediums, you know what I'm saying, and we got HHF management as well. So you know, what I mean, we're management company, we're a record company, we got HHF studios. Too. And people fly from all over the uh, the country to perform there every Tuesday every night Tuesday. at KOD. So if you are an up and coming artist and whatnot, and you want to be heard, at hey, KOD, the spot is legendary. Pimpin' is hosting. It's it's definitely a event. No, be at dope. KOD every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every night. Tuesday. Well, shit, there you go. Yeah, I'm in there. We got any questions from the floor? <laughs> and we also about, about, oh. we about to put my book out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, let me tell you one more thing, Carlos. I'm gonna put Carlos' book out too, and Clay's book out let's too. Do so it. I want to say, oh well, let me let me let me. We can me. work on yeah, it. Yeah, let me work with it. So so uh, with the book thing, right? It's like we got this thing called the making of an autobiography of a celebrity, right? So every book that we do, we actually film it from process to process. So McKenna who's a SAG agent, she's worked work with us at Netflix, so we actually go have a docu-series on uh, Netflix where every time, you know, you know, you put out a book or Jack, with Jack Book, what we're doing with Jack Book as far as uh, putting him on iTunes and putting him in all these other situations. iTunes! Yeah, we can make iTunes! It. <laughs> I see what you, I see what you did, motherfucker! I see what you did! <laughs> I can't keep up. I can't keep up. So, 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 so. so All so, on me. So, so, so that's what we're doing, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, we create other extremes of income. We're not just gonna get the money, you know, and, and say, okay, we cool, you know, with just a book deal. Now we t we flip it like y'all doing with uh, 85 Soft. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all doing y'all commercials. You know, you got to, you know, as African American, we got to understand that hip hop is the new Black Wall Street. You know, what I mean? you look at Black Wall Street, the GDP of Wall Street was two point something billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop, you got one person worth nine billion, which is four times the value of Black Wall Street. So you know what I'm saying? I mean, this, this, this culture that we got, that's why we got in the OCC, OOC, that's uh, our culture, our call. So, so what I'm doing is I'm taking that book thing, I'm finna do a special on, uh, uh, on Jack, remember, uh, what's his name, uh, Turk was up here? Yeah. yeah. He said Pippa King gave me the book game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we finna do something with him, we finna do something with everybody, Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm finna, no, I'm finna get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Ecosystem for real, man. It's you stick around, you ain't going nowhere. That's why I have to time my visits when I go home, man. It's but Los, I, I know you can vouch for this. So all y'all niggas out there think I be capping, right? This one of the real, original, my daddy, original home port. We own 186, 186 acres of land in, in Mississippi. You don't need 120. Listen, no, no, here's that. You only need 120 to make a scene. All that land going down there for a million dollars acre. So all you niggas think I'm broke, really? Nigga, I ain't nothing broke about me, nigga. I got Donald Trump money. All we got to do is all agree to sign that shit. And he know, he kicked it with all my cousins. He been on that land. He didn't kill uh, pigs and everything. Got so for all y'all, for all y'all don't think it's really entrepreneurs, man, my granddaddy, Mr. Nelson, man, we been on some Donald Trump, man. This is royalty. You know, Supreme, look, Kenny, my son. Oh, you know my son is acting in, uh, you ever see that thing? Um, All-American. All-American. 
That's my son, the light skinned dude, number 14. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look what? at the Ken Ivy. That's okay, my son. Good. That's my. So, you know, I mean. Hey, that's real, man. Come on, man. We gotta keep this shit going, man. We got nine shit. beautiful kids, man. That's what's up. Yeah, all my daughter, uh, Kanisha, she got a master's degree. All of them, you know, end up going to school, going to college. You know what I'm saying? My other son, Supreme, you know, he's in the hip hop game. But I want to give all y'all one last chance to get my book. So go to audible.com and get my book, Pimpology, The 40 Laws Game. Get my book, The Art of Human Chess. You can get it on your phone right now. You ain't got to go to the store. But if you like to read hardcovers, go to amazon.com, go to Target. Go to Walmart, go to Barnes and Nobles. My book is everywhere. I'm official with this game, man. I mean, I'm telling you, man, like I said, I do this for real, man. And uh, hey, man, thank y'all for having me, man. man. Hold on, before you go on there, we got one question from the floor. I just want to ask you a question about like the relationship you have with rappers. I know people like Ice T, Snoop, is really in that lifestyle and how they open the game up for like on the major level international music. Well, you know. It ain't a rapper in this game primarily that I haven't, you know, did business with. You know, me and 50 Cent, you know, PIMP, you know, me and Snoop, several videos, you know, me and Lil John, several videos. I've been on two of Lil John albums. I've been on a lot of albums, you know, a lot of rappers. But I think every rapper secretly want to be a pimp. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The pimp is the elite of all games because this is the only game where you don't actually commit a crime. It's ING. I'm not going to send the bitch. So then a lot of niggas have problems with their women. Right. You know, women talk crazy to them. But you know, a pimp, a bitch, you know what I'm saying, she always in pocket. You know what I'm saying? Because the bigger the structure, the bigger the production. You Come know on. what I'm saying? So you know, that's the game. You know what I'm saying? The game is a little different than a square. So a lot of these squares, they want to be like, man, I want to be next to them. You know, Puffy flew me into uh, Atlanta, you know, uh, gave me a big ass suite. You know, Put me in the VIP, me and him was the only one in the VIP, you know, because he's respected Pippin that good. You know, I mean, all of them, all of them, man, you know, they, they come to my parties for free. I don't have to pay them, you know what I'm saying? They just come out of love. If I tell them I'm having a party, they all show up. Man, I did one party in Milwaukee, man. The fire marshals had to come. And my man, J Row, was his, J Row really the one that really told me, stop, watch out. Shout out to J Row. East Side, we from East Side of Milwaukee. No, no, Jay, Jay, Jay Mo is crazy. He told me, Jay, he's a, he's a big fan of y'all's. Shout you know, out to yeah, him. Yeah, Jay Rowe, Milwaukee. He's, he's, he got uh, a film company man. like y'all yeah. guys. He do the thing. So, uh, uh, see, there I go again. You know what I'm saying? Tell I got, him about the liquor. Don't, don't forget to tell him about oh, the liquor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also do uh, celebrity liquors. I sign artists to liquor. You know what I'm saying? Me and my man Steve, you know, so a lot of celebrities, you know, we give them liquor deals. We give them... Uh, you know, we fuck with James over there, rap snacks. You know what I'm saying? Me and okay. Steve-O, oh, yeah. you know, we do a lot yeah. of, you know, the, okay. the Boosie uh, uh, party that you just seen down there. That was uh, Steve Love and myself. You know, we got Boosie coming to KOD. You know, uh, Arcanelli bought cases. You know what I'm saying? That's the game. See, if I get you a deal, then if, if y'all come and do the show, then, you know what I'm saying, the, the people who buy cases of liquor, then that's how we sell it. So it's like a hustle, you know what I mean? It's right. like, you know, y'all got to know the game. The network. Yeah, right. I tell niggas like, man, this shit ain't about, like it used to be, man, you know, why would you, like, you know, Boosie own, you know what I'm saying, a significant percentage of that liquor deal. Right. You know what I'm saying, I mean, we want to give you equity deals. So when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking to people, like I'm talking to me and Steve-O, I'm like, Steve-O, when you go in there and negotiate, negotiate equity. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I do business with people, I try to tell them you want an equity share in the business because guess what? Say for instance, if you do a, a shirt or something and the shirt go viral and uh, say Sha Shaquille O'Neal, somebody put it on and they sell 100 million things. Mm -hmm. If you only got that $1,000 to endorse it, you lose out. So what right. you want to practice, you want to do brand integration. I tell people, if somebody give you $100, that's, that's a charity. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, uh, say, okay, I'm going to put my product, that product there. You know what I'm saying? That's product placement. But if, you know what I'm saying, you do a brand integration, then and you marry that brand, you get money for the rest of your life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's, that's the type of things that we're teaching. I'm teaching brothers about cryptology. I'm teaching about blockchain. I'm teaching about ASCAP, BMI, you know, CSAC. You know what I mean? That's, right. that's because that's what I do. You know, I'm a pimp. So I got to pimp the game. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right, I'm pimping right. corporate America right, right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. They say who I'm pimping. I'm pimping. They got their money. I'm pimping. King, so I'm pimping myself, you know what I mean? So I make okay. sure that I'm always on the pimp side yeah. of the deal. So that's what I'm telling them, Carlos. I'm teaching them how to, you know, you know, to do the liquor deals, you know what I'm saying? We teach them about the book game. And like I said, you know, y'all go get my book, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Pimpology, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna love it. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, Real Pimp Ken. And uh, me and Carlos gonna be at that family reunion Most down in down in Oxford, Mississippi. All y'all in Oxford, Old Miss A, man, we here, baby. Much love to the old town. Oh, man, man. Give, give it up, give it up for my man. Oh.
Hey, this your first time in the trap. Don't let this be your last time. Yeah, no, you gotta man. come back. You gotta come back, bro. No, That's man. You gotta man. come back. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Like I said, man, it don't make a difference, man. I, I, I talk about everything, man. You talk about black history. You talk about whatever, man. I ain't, I'm not a one-trick pony, man. You know, I don't just, I'm not monolithic. I do all type of shit, man. See, and you know, I'm, a, I'm a businessman. And you know, yeah, I want to sit down. Y'all want to do some business, man. We can do business. Most definitely can do you know, some business. Yeah, man. yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's so many ways we do business. And shout out to my man. Uh, 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 give me your name, baby. Let them know. Yeah. Yeah, that's my main man. That my man Ray What's Ray up, over bro? there. You oh, know, Ray. Bado, Boogie Man, you know. Shout what out saying? to the whole squad Dutch. back there, man. Shout out to my vice president Dutch, my brother Marvin Ivy, you know, Mallory, all yeah. the all the crew. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole big and Angela, we got a whole crew. So, you know, Hip Hop Fraternity is a big organization. You know, we got two thousand members. And uh, basically, you know, they can join our social media at thehiphopfraternity.com and we can kick it like we're kicking it now. It's, Most a, it's, definitely. it's a big thing, right. you know, and we got jackets, we got HHF magazine, and they can follow us at HHF underscore magazine. So, I mean, If you need to book Pippin Ken for features and stuff, they'll, they'll do, be on uh, your project also. Come He's on. still doing that right there. You're, how many albums? Oh man, at least about 400 albums. 400 albums, boom. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Who's gonna put? I got it. Hey, uh, but album sold, hey Clay, I'm gonna go on this note. Album sold, if you look at the sold, the, you know, the, the, the albums that sold from Lil John and all that, probably about 40 million. You know, 40 with, million. My, with, my, with my, my words on it. Yeah. That's what's up. Wow. There you have it, folks. Hey man. Pippa Ken. Pippa Ken. Check through. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a flick. Come on. Man, hey. That's your heart. Hey, give me a flick, transition, bro. Uh, give me a flick. I'll just talk Put this shit. Three, two, one. Nigga, don't tell me I won on 85 South. You won. <laughs>